Well, as the pigs step out of the clubhouse, they walk straight into the most important day of their young lives. It is the season eight finals and the final time that these pigs will walk out onto this gorgeous paddock. And before we go any further, we have a league announcement. And that is to say that Piggy Smalls' handicap will be applied moving forward. And that will make a huge difference in these finals. I tried to stay impartial, but even I think that this is heavy handed and unfair on the American, especially at this late stage in such an important season. But I don't make the rules, so there we go. But on a higher note, the Red Arrows fly over the paddock on its final day of racing. The Red Arrows normally fly over Buckingham Palace during the Queen's Jubilee and are a highlight of the festivities. So we are extremely honored that the Red Arrows have been scrambled for us today. Thank you so much to the UK taxpayer first and foremost, as it must have cost a fortune to get those jets in the air for these finals, but also of course to the Red Arrows themselves. And with that, let us roll straight into the most important round of racing in the league's history. The finals begin. There's the handicap of Piggy Smalls. Hoshi gets squished out, but he goes around the back and attacks on the far side. Bears in the lead, but the Japanese pig is catching up here. In fact, he's overtaking as they go to the corner. It looks like it might be Hoshi's this race. Yes, it is. And Hoshi Oinku goes straight to the top of the table for this championship and is now in pole position. And you can see the handicap working its magic on Piggy Smalls, which must be so frustrating for all Smalls fans out there. We knew that we wanted a change of direction in the track for season eight. And so we thought we would start by going big and trying to get the pigs to do a full U-turn during a race. The following is the reason why you never ever see this track in season eight. Attempt one, this isn't our first rodeo, so we're not expecting loads from the pigs as we know this is the first time they've ever seen anything like this before. And sure enough, it soon descends into chaos as nearly all the pigs jump over the fence to try and find the food and are just met with disappointment. No worries, we think. We will not be disheartened. We will just go straight into the second attempt. Attempt two is better. We've learned from the first attempt. We put an extra chicane board at the U-turn to discourage the pigs from jumping the fence. Only Piggy Smalls ignores that, but the rest of the pigs go back up the track and we can see progress being made. So we are confident for attempt three. And so we should be. This is the pinnacle performance of the pigs on this track as all of them go round the U-turn and back up the track. And we are overconfident at this point. But boy, does attempt four shatter our dreams. Everything is unraveled here as Bear and Ginger go back up the same piece of track. Meanwhile, the rest of the pigs start eating food. That puts Ginger and Bear into frenzy. They knock over the blackboard and thus the secret is revealed and all the pigs know that the food is right next to the box. The following day, we tried this track again and all that happens is the pigs go straight for the food and we learn our lesson that we can never put the food so close to the box again. And it also explains why Ginger and Bear do this in the first race of this season. The pin is pulled, the door taking a while to drop. We haven't seen that for a while, but the pigs push it down and it's the gills out in front. Piggy Smalls and Hoshi have the most work to do. Pepper Sanchez leading the way because it is a sprint and she's going to go around this corner. Is she going to wrap it up? No, she doesn't. It's Piggy Smalls and Ginger attack. And I'm not sure who won that. It was so close. It looked like Piggy Smalls had the momentum, but Ginger was out in front. And it's Ginger Hamilton that takes the victory. That could make a huge difference by the end of these finals. So extremely controversial. We need to see it on the slow motion replay. And there is almost nothing in that. There will be some arguments. The gate has been opened and the pigs rush out of the racing paddock. And if you've been watching season eight, you know exactly the reason why. In round two, Hoshio Inku found the location of an apple tree, which was nearby Piggy Heaven. Then in round three, Ginger, Piggy Smalls and Bear followed Hoshi to find the location of the tree for themselves, leaving only Pepper Sanchez to be the only pig in the league that doesn't know where this apple tree resides. Now, will Pepper stay close enough to the other pigs this week to figure out the tree for herself? Well, Pepper's doing what she normally does and has her head right in the clouds and is just eating grass. But you need to look up Pepper and need to figure this out. Do not go left because that's the normal entrance and will not lead to the tree but it looks like Pepper's turning right and is going in the right direction. You just need to go next to the fence to the left and the location of the tree is yours to find. And yes, Pepper finally knows where all these apples are coming from. 
Race Steve against Piggy Sports takes a while to get out of the box. He's got a mountain to climb. The other four are pretty much level as they go over the second hurdle. In fact, Ginger's pulling out, but so is Hoshi Oink on the far side attacking. Piggy Sports has done a fantastic job of staying with the top three. In fact, he takes second as Hoshi gets distracted and tries to cut across Ginger. We've seen him do that in previous seasons, but now is not the time to start it. Ginger's win means that she is starting to pull away from the boys, but Piggy Sports has done a brilliant job of saving his chances in these finals. For so many weeks, the grass really has been greener on the other side of the fence for this little pig. But now that Pepper is on the other side of the fence, she's enjoying a massive sugar rush, which at this point the others must be used to. And while Pepper is chomping away at these apples, let's talk a little bit more about this Mexican pig. Pepper probably has the least amount of common sense out of the five, and it normally takes her a few more seconds to get what's going on. But she's also the most welcoming out of the five, and that's because the staff here pity Pepper quite a bit because she's normally last out of the five when it comes to food and gets a little bit less. And Pepper has quickly realized that with her pixie ears and her long eyelashes, that pity can be cashed in for some tasty treats. And so she is the first to walk over and ask the humans for some extra help. And that means she's a really sweet pig to observe. And while she is not in contention to win the championship, she does have a cult following and is a big addition to this league. The madness begins. Bear gets another great start. Piggy Sports again suffering from the handicap, but this is the water race. Ginger and Hoshi are likely to take over. Hoshi's attacking the far side, but stops. And look at Piggy Sports as he overtakes everyone with that. And he wins by a full pig length. You cannot let Smalls get away with something like that when he starts so far behind. The others are asleep at the wheel. Hoshi has another terrible race. And so it's a double victory for the American as he pulls closer to being a real threat in these finals. Hoshi boy, you've got a lot of work to do, but we appreciate you coming over to the cameraman to thank all the fans that have bought our merch and to build that energy up for the advert. Hoshi needs this victory to stay in contention. He gets an average start though. Piggy Smalls out the back because of the handicap. Ginger out in front as they get to this water. Piggy Smalls and Hoshi start to plough through it though. But Piggy Smalls has their pants down in race five and sets a record. Are you kidding me? From so far behind. And with that, Piggy Smalls may as well have just gone over to Hoshi, picked up his dreams and smashed them all over the floor. And if Ginger's not careful, he's going to put a bullet to her ambitions as well. A deserved win by Piggy Smalls. Well, at the start of these finals, we knew that Piggy Smalls would be handicapped. But what we didn't know is that instead of it being debilitating, it was actually revitalizing to this young man. And Piggy Smalls hasn't won a season since season one. So he must be desperate to try and take hold of this championship. But he isn't sitting down because he's tired. He's sat because he wants to pay homage to the people that support us most. And while those names flash upon the screen, I want to make a special announcement, which is to say that we are going to continue to put out content after these finals. And a big motivation for that is because of the people on the screen right now. So thank you all so much for supporting this show to such a massive degree. You are a huge motivation to us. And with that, let us go over to the second to last race. Here we go, the four get a good start, but Piggy Smalls gets out his handicap quickly and just look at that big pig go! Look at the acceleration he has over the others! He's won by the time they've got to the corner! And Piggy Smalls annihilates the other four and shows how slow they are in these finals. And he also says to the League of Pigs, you want to try and manage me out of this competition with that stupid handicap, do you? Well, why don't you take your handicap? and stick it right up your... Ginger, look how happy she is. And of course she's gonna be. She is so close to being the overall champion of champions as she is a whisker away from being the first pig ever to win a triple championship. And the main reason for that is because as we've said in so many videos, it's her consistency. Ginger can do high jumps, low jumps, sprints, mini mountain, and even obstacles like water where she's not the best at. In fact, the boys are much better than Ginger normally. She still manages to get third, which means she doesn't lose that many points. 
and that means she's often in the top two picks when the finals come around. But of course, the momentum is certainly not with her in these finals as Piggy Smalls has pulled out all the stops and overcome his handicap to have a great streak of performance over the last few races. Ginger, though, has an ability to cause massive upsets in the final race. Will she do it again? Well, as always, there is one way to find out. So let us head over to the final race. Here we go. Piggy Smalls will need to overtake Ginger to win the championship. Ginger in third, but dropping back here. Piggy Smalls slightly off screen, but he is challenging here. Son of a sow, he's going to do it as he overtakes Ginger. Ginger has no retort. And Piggy Smalls, the notorious PIG, wins season eight. And his crowd is finally returned to him after seven seasons away. What a phenomenal performance from the large American. His true warrior nature came out and the others simply didn't know how to handle him. It is a performance for the ages and a sublime way to finish this era of pig racing. What a finals we had and Piggy Small certainly showed that he wanted it the most as he dug deep and overcame every challenge that was presented before him. And before we go League of Piggers, as mentioned before, there is more content coming after this video. And if I do say so myself, what's coming up is pretty special. So stay tuned. But right now, all we have to do is honor the champion before us, the one and only Notorious P.I.G. Out in front as they get to this water. Piggy Smalls and Hoshi start to plow through it though. But Piggy Smalls has their pants down in race five and sets a record. Are you kidding me? Here we go. The four get a good start, but Piggy Smalls gets out his handicap quickly. And just look at that big thing go. Look at the acceleration he has over the others. He's won by the time they've got to the corner. Slightly off screen, but he is challenging here. Son of a sow, he's going to do it as he overtakes Ginger. Ginger has no retort. And Piggy Smalls, the notorious PIG, wins season eight.